Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 136, The Whirling Waters, where we've got the goals to collect or defeat six slugs, collect six sea stars, and collect 70 green leaves. Oh, I get to earn 150 medals for this. I bet I'm going to be able to finish my tour on this. All right, so do I want to upgrade or change my fiends, or do I want to rearrange the board? Any of those are possibilities. I need green, but I also need to get down here. So I wouldn't mind some bombs. I like the setup. I like how it is. I'm happy with everything, unless I lose, and then I will be unhappy, and I will figure out why I lost and what I need to do to change things. Yep, I'm going to keep hitting these seashells, getting things cleared out. Oh, I could collect more green right here. I like that. I'm holding off on the red. I was thinking maybe I could get more red together. That's not really working out for me. So let's take this. We're almost through these shells now. This is going to help. I probably should have taken this over the red because now it floods this area so I've got more stuff here. We have to figure out what he's going to give us. In order to figure out what he's going to give us, we have to get rid of this sea star. In order to get rid of that sea star, I'm probably going to need some horizontal bomb here to help. I'm going to do this because it gets rid of seashells and it starts to clear out this guy. Gene is going to give me converters, which isn't bad, but it's not bombs. So I probably want to make sure I do my bomb collection fairly soon here. If I do that, I could get... Oh. Yeah, he's closer. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, bad situation there, Jojo. I was hoping you would kind of connect it over here. Uh, now I need to get this bomb set up in a situation where it can be useful. So I have to clear, oops, clear a few things out. Ooh, if I do this, I've got two different bomb opportunities now that may play out. Here we go. I do this, and I either come this way to get 6,020, or this way to get 6,700. So let's do that and see what he's going to give us. <gasps> black bomb, and look what I have lined up and ready to hit that black bomb. So that's going to collect a sea star. It's going to desmuck a sea star. It's going to get rid of shells. And it's also going to collapse my converter here for a bit, my spawner. But that's okay. All right, now look at all this green I have, but I can't get it together with the converter at this point in time. If I just take out blue, it's a simple little move. And that sets up for an ability now to take out the red. Yellow is my... Um, slug color, but I'm really just not set up to do much with that. So I'm going to go hunting for green. I can't get around everywhere, but this collects a sea star, collects a lot of this green, hits that slug pretty hard, harder than I could do with any of the yellow I have on the board. Oh, look at that. So now I know what I want to do. I want to get this red back over to here, right? Oh, well, that's not going to happen that way. But if I do this, it will. Okay, so unaffiliated slug now. And 34,000, which is also going to be collecting a lot of those leaves, right? So that helps. Now I've got the converter down here. Can't reach both sides. What if I just take this? Still can't reach both sides. So I might as well grab this. I'm going to come up along this way. We get a sea star out of that. So all sea stars are now collected. There's my converter, but I don't even know that I need a converter at this point in time. I can do this, get all of the green I need, and try to set up a bomb for the next time he gives me something. Right? Maybe. The bombs are not well positioned. 
7,000, 10,000. So that gives me 10,000 right there. Even if I don't get a black bomb, I have enough to take this out. So I can get that black bomb and take everything. It's just overkill. It's 10 times what I need. But hey, let's just do it. And that gave us more things on the board so that we can collect extra rewards. So look at this. This was such a long event. This Frozen Hills tour took forever to complete. I was first supposed to get Buggles as a reward. And then I actually got Buggles just by opening these things up. So it converted it to Skier Buggles as my reward which may just be a costume. It may not be anything more significant than that. I'm prepared for that because I know costumes are part of this. So here we go. Metal Challenge 30 Skier Buggles Claim Reward. There we go. So here he is. Um, this is stage one. Now I thought I had him. Oh, okay. Yeah, not quite exactly sure because I think I've got him upgraded. But this is now clothing he can wear. So here's a preview. I could get Postman Buggles. I'm not going to buy him, though. Uh, he gets a 50 attack boost. So I think with, oh, with Skier, I did get a 50 attack boost. So that is something helpful there. So, grand finale unlocked. Keep on winning fantastic rewards, including gold and VIP time, right up until the next event starts. Compete with your friends and see who can beat the most challenges. This ends today, though. So, even if I get 999 medals, I only get 200 only. That's nice, isn't it? 200 of the diamonds. I might take a break since that was so much work and wait for that next event to happen. But I'm still going to use my VIP time and get my Fiend of Fortune. That's it for me. I got skier buggles. I thought it was fun, but a lot of work. If this information is helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, put those below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.